Hello YouTube. In this video, once again, the HP ProLine Microserver Generation 8 is starting. And uh, this, this time around, we're taking a look at uh, Serial Attached SCSI in this machine. I've got this uh, Seagate T10 uh, Cheetah drive. This is a SAS drive, 3.5 inches. Uh, I just pulled it out of the system. It's pretty warm. That's uh, typical for drives like this. This is a 15,000 RPM drive, as far as I know. 146 gigabytes in size. I got this thing off eBay for uh, very cheap. And the drive itself is working just fine. So, the fun thing with these HP Plan microservices is that their backplanes uh, have SAS connectors on them. I don't know if I can get that. I don't really think I can. But, uh, the difference between a SATA connector and a SAS connector, for those of you who don't know, let's put them side by side here uh, in the video. There we go. As you can see, there is a clear notch here on the SATA drive, that's the one here on the bottom, between the power connector and the uh, data connector. And on the SAS drive, which is the top one here, this is one clear connector. It's handled by one single connector. They did it this way, so you can't confuse or can't use uh, SATA power and data connectors on a SAS drive uh, because SAS drives are not typically supported by SATA controllers anyway. But this way you can't make a mistake in that regard. You can clearly differentiate them by the way they connect. And also, SAS drives offer higher performance because they are available in uh, higher rotation speeds than uh, SATA drives which means you have some faster access times and uh, in some cases you can have some better performance too as well. and they're typically uh, enterprise grade and thus more resilient uh, and less prone to failure. So let's put the drive in. You might be wondering then like, well, how are you going to use a SAS drive in a computer that has a SAS backplane but can only address SATA drives? Well, that's where the rate card comes in or the uh, HBA in this case. But it can also do RAID, but it can also be used in just an HBA. It doesn't really matter that much. There we go. Let's get a better look at that. You can see in the PCI Express slot right here, it is populated. This is an HP Smart Array P410. I uh, got this one off eBay for a whopping 16 bucks. It came with a 256 megabyte cache module, but uh, uh, that module is actually faulty, so I'm uh, waiting for a new one. I ordered a 512 megabyte unit uh, to replace it. Uh, I might order the battery backup uh, solution later on. The fun thing about these HP Ply microservices is you can uh, put the back the backup battery like in this clip here, so I've got it out of the way and uh, it's not interfering with your airflow in the system. So, these HP uh, smart arrays are pretty darn cheap, but they work very well. The only thing you really have to do in order to get uh, SAS going on this system is get one of these uh, these cards, uh, disconnect the mini SAS cable from the motherboard, and just connect it straight to the card. And that's it, you've got SAS compatibility built in. So that's pretty nice, and it's working very well too. So, you yeah, know, that's, that's always fun to know, right? So that's basically all I really can show in this video. So that's the SAS upgrade done. And uh, yeah, there's really not much else to show here. I mean, uh, it's been running for about a day now. I uh, set everything up yesterday. At first I thought the RAID cart was faulty, but like I said, the uh, cache module turned out to be faulty instead. So uh, it is working pretty well now. And as soon as we've got uh, that cache module going, um, we'll have some even better performance in this server uh, for the couple of virtual machines that want to run the SAS drive. So that's pretty fun. I might actually swap the uh, one terabyte uh, SATA drive out for uh, for that Raptor drive again. I pulled that in. The, I pulled that to uh, be replaced by the SAS drive. So I might use the 10k and 15k drive side by side just to get the best performance right now without going SSD. Uh, anyway, before I get into much detail again on, on uh, future plans on this server, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.